Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question size of a binary tree. So the question is very simple. You're given a root of a binary tree and you have to return the total number of nodes in this binary tree. So for this example, I should get six because there are six nodes in this binary tree. Here I have a code written for this, uh, this question. It's a recursive code. Name of the function is size. It takes root and returns the size. If the root is null, it returns zero. Otherwise, it goes on its left side recursively, calculates the size, left size, calculates the right sides, and then adds them up and adds one to that and returns that to the calling function. So let me simulate that on a call stack. So here, we start from, we get the root 10. So when root 10 comes here, root is not null, so it goes into its left size, and size, so it, it comes here, so it recursively calls size again with root left. So I'm saying that from line number one, it goes into the recursion with root left, which is two. Again, two is not null, so two goes into its own recursion from line number one with six. Again, six is not null, so six goes into its own recursion for root left from line number one. Six left is null, so it goes here. It is null, so it returns zero. So left size for six is zero. Similarly, right size for six will be zero. So six returns left size, which is zero, right size, which is zero, plus one. So six returns one to its calling function, which was two. So two was ex last was executing statement, statement number one. So from left sides, two got one, so we update one here. On the right side, two again calls its right side. So this is null. So it goes there, it returns zero. So two on the right side gets zero. So finally two returns left size, which is one, left size, which is one, right size, which is zero, plus one. So two returns two to 10. So the left size for 10 will be 2 because we went into recursion from statement, statement number 1. So now 10 goes on its right side. So that's 5. Again, 5 is not null. So 5 goes into its own recursion from line number 1. And that's 8. Again, 8 is not null. So 8 goes into its own recursion from line number 1. And that's uh, null because 8's left is null. So again, it gets zero from left side. So it gets zero from left side. It would get zero from the right side. So finally, eight will return zero plus zero plus one. So eight returns one to five. So five gets, five's left size is one. And now five goes into the recursion again from statement, statement number two to its right side, so three. So three is not null, so a three goes into a recursion from line number one, which is null, so null returns zero to three, and three's left size is zero. Similarly, three's right size will be zero. So three will finally return zero plus zero plus one. So three returns one to five. So five's right size because we, were, we went into three from statement, statement number two, so five's right size is also two, is two, is, uh, sorry, one. So five returns left size, which is one, right size, which is one, plus one. So five returns three to the calling function, which was uh, 10. So 10 gets three from the right size, and 10 finally returns left size, which is 2, right size, which is 3, plus 1. So 10 will finally return 6 to the calling function, which is the size of the binary tree. If you want the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission Base interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user to 2525 Thanks for watching this video.